Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in a Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna talk all about the new integration of VertiPak Analyzer into DAX Studio. All right, so this is a Two Minute Tuesday. Wait, 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 we can't go straight to my laptop. All right, so Adam and I have been talking about the VertiPak Analyzer a lot. We've talked about data modeling, performance tuning a ton, and we talk about DAX Studio and VertiPak Analyzer, SQL Profile, all these tools. And if you've used the existing VertiPak Analyzer, you know it was not, it was not a trivial process, right? So you need to download the tool, then you need to find the diagnostic port, then you need to change the connection string, all oh, so many steps, right? But now it's integrated into DAX Studio, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video, okay? So instead of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do. Let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a PBI X file open up. Once you have one open, then you need to get the latest version of DAX Studio, 2.9. Four, right you get it and then you go to file and then you choose options it's a preview it's in preview right now so you click advance and be sure to check show export metrics button check the box next to that show export metrics button and then you go back and you click on advance and you'll see advance there right it's disabled it's because I'm not connected to a model click home choose connect and I'm gonna connect to the PBIX file that I have open Click connect and then go back to advance and choose view metrics. If I click view metrics, you'll see that a new VertiPak analyzer tab appears. And now you can see at my all my tables that's in the model. If I expand it, I can see the columns there. I love the data bars, right? It's giving me an indication that these are using a lot of space. The cardinality is high. If I choose columns, you can see the same data bar. This is great. Relationships. I can see all types of information based on these things. I can see what type of encoding, which type of data type it's encoding. If I go to relationships and I can expand, expand it out, I can see the relationships that exist on those tables. It's just a wealth of information if I want to really analyze the structure of my model. All right, what do you guys think? Are you using VertiPak Analyzer? Are you using DAX Studio? If not, go to SQL BI slash tools to download them and start using them today. All right, if you got any questions, comments, you know what to do, post it in the comments below. If you're first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.